Tony Bobolinsky's lawyer's fees have been paid by a Trump super PAC. That's as recent as January. Do you think that a guy who's invested in how much better off he wants the United States to be and really getting to the bottom of this would be taking money from the guy who extorted the Ukrainians to get dirt on the Bidens. And we should talk about Lev Parnas, who's the Democratic witness. He extorted the Ukrainians. Who absolutely no, dis- Biden really? extorted the yeah. Ukrainians and said, I'm oh, not giving you a Victor billion Shokin? dollars of taxpayers' okay. money. Let's Let, get straight on this. I, I am the straightest. This is not about my sexual orientation that I have ever <laughs> been on this. I got to move on. Lev Parnas testified that Lindsey Graham asked him to go find Shokin and bring him back to talk about him. He also testified that Rudy Giuliani, Donald Trump, and Bill Barr, who I've not heard talked about that much in this, were all in cahoots to make sure that we could extort the Ukrainians to get evidence so that Donald Trump could win in 2020. That is the scandal here. They are publicly accusing me of treason right now, um, treating me like I'm insignificant or the uh, 50 years of history that my family served this country is insignificant and basically associated my name with that, which is absolutely disgusting to me. And I had to go on the record, but I've provided more documents and facts that validate times, meetings, who participated. I was focused on pushing these guys to do the right thing to demonstrate an ounce of integrity in front of the American people. They all know the facts, I live the facts, and luckily for the American people, all the facts are extremely well documented. I'm irrelevant in this discussion. Former Biden business partner Tony Bobulinski is suing Fox News host Jessica Tarlov over her claims a super PAC connected to former President Donald Trump paid his legal fees. Bobulinski filed the defamation lawsuit in Manhattan District Court demanding $30 million in damages from Harlov, the liberal co-host of The Five, for remarks she made on the show last week about a pro-Trump super PAC paying Bobulinski's legal fees as recently as January. Stefan Passantino, an attorney for Bobulinski and a former former Trump administration official is also a plaintiff in the lawsuit. The complaint begins, Ms. Tarlov lied to achieve media headlines and ratings and to serve her political agenda by deliberately besmirching the character of Messrs. Bobulinski and Passantino is a matter of fact that since 2020, when Mr. Bobulinski first started speaking publicly against the Biden family, he has spent over $500,000 of his own money on legal fees. Neither President Trump nor any persons or entities affiliated with President Trump have ever paid for any of Mr. Bobulinski's legal fees during this time. The plaintiffs wrote a letter to Fox on March 21st demanding Tarlov retract her comments and apologize for her remarks. Tarlov, meanwhile, did not issue the requested apology and retraction. I would like to clarify a comment I made yesterday during our discussion of Tony Bobolinsky's appearance at the congressional hearing. During an exchange with my colleagues about the hearing, I said that Mr. Bobolinsky's lawyer's fees have been paid by a Trump super PAC as recently as January. What was actually said during the hearing was that the law firm representing Mr. Bobolinsky was paid by a Trump PAC. I have seen no indication those payments were made in connection with Mr. Bobolinsky's legal fees, and he denies that they were. Bobulinski, however, was unsatisfied with Tarlow's remarks and sent Fox News another threatening letter the following day, adding that legal actions would be taken if his demands were not met. To be clear, we demand a complete retraction and apology by Ms. Tarlow at the top of today's show while showing this photograph in which Ms. Tarlow clearly states that she explicitly apologizes to Tony Bobulinski and Stefan Passantino for making a false claim on the air which harmed their reputations. Ms. Tarlow must further state, to be clear, it appears that Mr. Bobulinski has always paid all of his legal bills and there is no evidence that Mr. Passantino or his law firm accepted money from anyone other than Mr. Bobulinski for his representation. These statements must be made without the petulant innuendo or further attempted mental gymnastics as we saw from her yesterday. Absent such statements, both he and Mr. Passantino will continue to be harmed. The network reiterated its position in a statement. Jessica Tarlow's March 21st statements were accurate and made clear that she was not aware of anything to indicate that payments from a Trump PAC to elections LLC were made in connection with Tony Bobulinski's legal fees. We stand by our decision to not issue any further corrections and will vigorously defend against these inaccurate claims. While the complaint accuses Tarlov of three counts of defamation, the lawsuit notably does not name Fox News as a defendant but just the five co-host individually.